is our pal, keep visiting us. Yeah, this is um, this has been bought off a new build. So this is 1.8 standard width, but it's quite it's, it's, it's 2 2 30 high, I think. So um, yeah, that's the job. And then in these old houses, it's the old um, dowel angle beads. be back well I'm knackered but <laughs> but yeah uh, I've came back yesterday from Sweden and today right back into it mm -hmm. so I'll hand you over to dad because he knows what we're doing I don't so take it away maestro okay all right hi the band's back together right what we're doing is pencil line here is going to be blocked up to the top so that's going so from the pencil line across, it's coming out. So it's coming out with a new lintel across the top. We're going to put a concrete lintel on the back, a tray and an angle line on the front so we can do it two separate jobs. Um, the back door is to be blocked up. This little window is going to be blocked up. Brickwork on the other side. I think it's a nine inch wall that. Now, yeah, this is a nine inch wall because it's like a party wall between the two houses, down an entry. So as you see, there's headers. So of course there's headers in it, it means it's a nine inch wall. Um, yeah, so, blocked up. We're gonna cut the front off the soldiers because it's all gonna get re-rendered from the soldiers, put those soldiers down, from the down is gonna get re-rendered. So we're gonna take the front off those, we can over render over them rather than take them out. The lintel's coming down below that. The doors are a lot, sh it's a lot shorter. Very high ceilings. There's our pal, keep visiting us. Yeah, this is um this has been bought off a new build. So this is 1.8 standard width, but it's quite it's, it's 2 2 30 high, I think. So um yeah, that's the job. So it's threatening thunderstorms today after the um heat wave. wave. So we're gonna get set up and get all, get all the cuts and everything done on the outside with the still saw and get propped up on the I mean, we've got three echoes, three strong, but we might have to go and get three more to, so we can leave it propped up on the outside and drop on the inside if it rains. So we'll see. So um, we're just setting out now. We're going to knock the plaster. We haven't got. A, we forgot the. We've forgotten the long drill bit, which goes right through. So we're going to drill through the centre line and mark back on the outside. But instead, we're going to knock the render off this corner, and then we've got a measurement to work off and set out to transfer the measurements and lines on the outside. This is the windowsill fixed to a bit of a pad. And then in these old houses, it's the old um, dowel angle beads. We've got pa little pads built in. The brick work by the brick brick layers and then the joins fix these, these dowels in, which gives you the round profile on the on the angle, which is nice. But, uh, yeah, that's it. But we're going to get in, get on the outside, get it marked up, and make some mess. So we'll catch up with it.
A bit messy too. Yeah, I'm just We're just the uh, wet floor. <laughs> well, luckily it's an empty house. Yeah. We could really do the same on the inside, but it's a tip of water. Really. Yeah. Stick to the inside. But there you go, that's that part still sawed down. And obviously, inside, if I can't remember if Dad's there, we're going to stitch drill it inside, our usual way. And um, he... We could do that, but look at it. Yeah, that's it's not worth putting that mess inside. Um, are you still sawing? Any over there? Or? It's still there, but over the window. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think these are just having the So there we go, Acros and Strong Boys are propped in. They're just a bit of an extra precaution because. Uh, second time. He's on the ladder like that. Second time he's dropped he's the air. But uh, yeah, so they're in and the re they're just an extra precaution because obviously the rendering would hold the brickwork in too, but you know, it's not worth taking any chances. So that's in. Now we're going to go for a break before, oh, speak of the devil, before this one comes back with a stick. <laughs> Take your bloody stick. I'm trying to work here. Right. See you in a bit. Right, so, back from break. Dad's gonna start making a hole in there. And I've got the iron hole, I think it's called. Whatever. So, so uh, got that. And I'm gonna head inside and do some stitch drilling. Just so we can both uh, start making some progress. And we can start uh, putting a good dent in this now. Thankfully, well, hope, well, hopefully we'll say. The weather app says we're going to miss this thunderstorm now, so fingers crossed that's the case. Because we can get more. The more we can get done outside, the better, so it's I'll take you in. It's just nice not to have sun cream on and not be sweating. It's quite a nice cool breeze. It's overcast, so it's quite pleasant today. Yeah, so uh, I'll take you inside and uh, get you set up.
so there's your carnage update <laughs> that window's fully out i've got them two panes out just them that are left but we've also made a good start here and you can see there not very ideal all that is being held up by half a brick so but dad has set off to Hodgson's now get some acros just to prep all this up so I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and get half a mix on so that I can get some of this brickwork and blockwork up and also take you outside customers were really kind to help me get the blocks moved over so all the blocks are on the proper side now sand cement mixers are there ready just gotta plug it in dog wants to stick to them again Bloody naked, doing all that for it. But, uh, yeah, so everything's brought around, so everything's not in the way of the customers. I'm just gonna get a bit of cleaned up, get a mix, and wait for Dev to come back. That's been my morning. <laughs> so I'll catch you in a bit. He's back. Yeah, he's back. No, you're back. Yeah, he's back. He's back. Yeah, we've just put these loose boards up and we noticed that turn. Um... Yeah, that's not good. It's a bit worse for work. Mm. Oh god. So we need to get these, the rest of these up and put the acros down onto the, the, the ground underneath. It's only, it's only, um, it's only just thought the lintels, the lintels are staying in. Just have to be careful we don't fall down there. Oh yeah, we've got a sleep ball to sit on there. So that's handy for that acro. Straight on the sleep ball. So anyway, a bit messy down there. Mm. There's your backbone from behind the fireplace. Anyway, let's get this prop and we'll go for some dinner. Right, lunch over. Alex is currently getting the mix on. Mix is going in now, yeah. But the rain stopped now, hasn't it? No. Oh. It's not, it's starting again. Um, yeah. Stick two and a half of um, bags of sand, mate. And then just that whole. Yeah, just oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Alex's pal's still here. It's never quit. Now, I'm going to make a bit more mess. I'll take out just above the boiler, take the middle out, and probably take that whole pillar down now. Because um, it's going to be quite unsafe once we take the top off. And uh, again, the seating for our lintel, which will go past just behind that, that boxing in. And then we're going to put the. Um, I'll have to knock all those nails into that um, lintel. The lintels are staying in because there's no way of taking out the patching above them because of the ceiling. Uh, they're fine, they're not doing anything. They're just, like I said, there's a lintel underneath, so they're not causing any problems whatsoever. It's, it's more. It's more upheaval to take them out than to just leave them where they are. Um, yeah, and then we're going to put the lintel up tight to those lintels with the cabbage tray on top. And that'll be dangling down then. When we put the angle iron in, we're going to strap it over the top and put it in properly. And we're going to put um, clear root vents in, um, but loose so they can move and move. Well, not up and down, but they can move in and out. So when it gets rendered, the plaster can set them to the right depth for the render. Some people say you don't need weak vents for the render, some people say you do. We'll put them in, if you don't want to use them, they can always just fill a hole up. So we'll do our bit and then it's up to them, whatever we do with it. So we're all propped up on the inside now, well both sides. We're going to get this inside into done now. Um, but even though it's stopped raining, hopefully we'll be able to get that one in too. We'll see how it goes. But the outside, 
actually do. We've come down the course on the outside. So uh, the actual frame comes in half course, so we put split either side. So the outside is bang on, the inside will be slightly higher. That can be made up with um, a testable timber just to bring it down to the frame. Um, yeah, we need to get a, we need to get the back link high, so make sure we get a, 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 a drop from the cavity tray. Ooh. Nice. I can't. I don't get a minute. <laughs> so anyway, that's the old time lapse, and let's make a bit more mess. PPA on the way we go.
and there you have it. Two walls ready for lintels. So there's a bit of fiddling around getting the right cuts done and all that. But I managed to get them done. Dad's done the patching up and I'm gonna leave this bit up for now because because we're leaving now, so I'm gonna leave that up and do all that tomorrow. Uh, the reason they're at different heights is because the angle iron, wherever that is, is uh, much taller, so we've got to make, we've got to be able to go over that with our tray. So that's on both sides. And uh, also, what else? what else? Oh yeah, I'm going to start getting ready for this. So I've just knocked all the plaster off, got the, um, got the sill out. All it's going to do now, push that out and blast off. Um, yeah, so we'll go try and get in nice and early tomorrow. And just get this done. Very fiddly day, but a long day ahead tomorrow. But yeah, it is what it is. So we will catch you here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>